Back Noble for Boxing UK, here with Ty and Booth at the Tall Wolf Rec for Dean White Show. Ty, man, how are you finding the show? How am I finding the show? I'm just watching Prince Patel stop the little African guy. He was all right. He was all right. He brings a few gimmicks. He was like laying on the ropes, you know, after the fight. You know what I mean? So boxing is a bit like a pantomime nowadays, isn't it? You know, with the YouTube boxing scene. So it's like, yeah, man. I told him. Just get that money. Get that money. It don't really matter. Sometimes it don't matter how good you are in boxing now. You know, you can make that money by being a little character. So this little Prince Patel guy. I don't really know if he's like really capitalized fully. You know, on his, his uh, not rise to fame, but you know what I mean? Like a lot of people were talking about him, you know, when he first burst on the scene, mm. Krugan. He was talking about his fucking girth and length and that. So I don't really know if he's capitalized on it. I don't know what kind of money he's getting here, but it was a decent turnout. It was a leisure center, wasn't it? There's a few people here, but I don't know. Is he is he cashing in or what? Well, he's now working with Dean. I guess we'll see in due time. We might even be seeing him on some of the some of the bigger shows. You know, the boxes, the BTS, the the zone. So yeah, you never know with boxing. I think he was talking about certain people don't want to work with him, but. Well, I don't know, man. Boxing, I just, I've kind of switched off, you know. You know, when most of the fights were going on today, mm. I kind of just went outside for a drink and I was like walking around, you know, exploring the area. Shout out to Dean White, man. He's trying to, he's trying to do his thing. I like him. I noticed these days, you know, at too many shows. The last time I saw you was a KSO, KSI show and that was last year, August. Uh, you been keeping up with the big fights, the big attractions? Yeah, that's, that's the only, they're, the, they're the only fights I tune into. I came down here with Boxing King Media, you know, the fastest rising YouTube boxing channel. You know, he hasn't been around that long, but he's kind of overtaken, you know, a few other the, the channels that were considered the main channels, you know, like Boxing Social, Behind the Gloves. You know what I mean? So he's doing well. He just messaged me. He said he was coming down here today, so I just thought I'd come down. Talking of the big shows, of course, right now, Joyce sang. Bro, you know, that might be copyrighted, isn't it, because of the music. Uh, it's cool, it's cool, they won't, they won't bother that. But, you know, um, of course, right now, Joy Sang, they're probably making their ring walks. I don't know the result at this point in time, but how do you think of that fight? How do you think that fight goes? I like Joe Joyce. I like him. Um, he hasn't really got much of a personality. He's a bit boring. He's a bit... Uh, he lacks that sort of charisma, but he, he's a tough guy, you know what I mean? So I just spat them. He's a tough guy. And I like these guys, you know, like Cole Froch. You know, I've got that kind of like fighting spirit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think Joe Joyce, I, I, I like him, but uh, yeah. Well, whatever, I'm just a casual, you know. You're probably talking to the wrong person right now. You're hardcore, isn't it? I'm just a casual, I just, I've got other interests, you know what I mean? I like watching other types of videos on YouTube, you know. If we're talking more you casual know? sense, Anthony Joshua fight versus Jermaine Franklin. I'm sure you tuned into that, yeah, paid attention yeah, to that. Yeah, that was good. You and Joshua? Yeah, Joshua's finished, man. He's done. He's trying to hang around for a few more paydays, isn't it? He? he keeps talking in his interviews about that generational wealth, which is fine. He's got a kid. He's got a mom and a dad, you know what I mean? So, yeah, get that money. Get that money. That's what I said to Prince Patel tonight as well. Like, Prince Patel was talking about history. He was talking about being, like, the first Indian to become a world champion. And I said, forget legacy, because like when you're dead, it doesn't matter, does it? You're dead. You can't, you're not aware of like mm -hmm. people talking about you and this and that. So that's what I said to him in the post fight interview. Because I, I got on there, I got involved. And, and he disagreed. He said, no, it's all about legacy. But then he dissed Barry Jones, who was a history maker from Wales who won a world title. And Prince Patel was like saying, ah, oh, fuck Barry Jones. You know, no one remembers him. Yeah, he won a world title, he made history, but no one remembers him. Do you know what I mean? But now Prince Patel's saying that he wants to be almost like a Barry Jones as far as creating legacy and history. You know what I mean? So he's kind of contradicted himself. But that was a few years ago that he said that. People can so change. Yeah, people change. Yeah, I've definitely changed. Do you know what I mean? Myself. So we could, like I used to diss Carl Froch, but now I want to have a pint with Carl Froch because I rate him. Carl Frotch has got a YouTube channel here. George grows on there. Exactly. You could jump on there one day, maybe. Who knows? Weird things have happened in the no, boxing world. I don't world. think he likes me. You know, he blocked me. But <laughs> he used to hate George Groves. And now they've become pali pali. You know, they're going on tour. They're traveling around. They're sitting in Carl Frotch's house, having a little friendly chat. You know, on Carl Frotch's channel, Frotch on fighting. So things can, 
Yeah, things can change. But yeah, we'll see. I don't think he likes me at all. But I don't think he hates me as much as he hates. He hated Groves. That was that was like genuine hatred. Well, you're the punch you saw in the face for the best part of twenty round. No, nah, even before that though, like the the, the pushing, the the all kinds of things. It was like genuine hatred. Carl Fox said that George Groves was trying to like belittle him, belittle his achievements. Saying, oh, he, he, he's blaming on his loss on Mikel Kessler. He's blaming on volcanic ash and he's making excuses. That was like interest. I haven't seen, this is the thing. Fox Groves, they set the bar, yeah? They set the bar with the build-ups and the fights. I haven't seen anything like that since. I'm sure that fight was like 10 years ago, you sure. know, the rematch. Talking of fights and build-up, one fight that did have a quite big build-up was the Eubank Ben fight. Of course, it didn't ever get over the line, but that was a quite a big build-up. That would have been something significant. We could have almost seen that in the same light as a Fox Groves, couldn't we? Yeah, it's just hard to top that though. You know, the pushing and pulling and mm. you know, pushing on the football pitch from Carl Froch. And then George Groves ran to Eddie Earn, saying saying, Eddie, if he puts his hands on me like that again. That was just like really funny, interesting, entertaining. And I don't think the Eubank Ben build up was as good. Of course, maybe not as bubbly, but what did you think of the, the outcome of all of that post Conor Ben failing two drug tests? Do you think he's guilty? Do you think he's innocent? Do you think he's misunderstood? What are your thoughts? You know this drink here, yeah? I don't know what's on this. You know Amir Khan? He said that he might have tested positive for the, um, you know, when he like failed a drugs test. He said he might have shook someone's hand. He might have shared a drink with somebody. And like, real, like realistically, I don't, I don't know what's on this, this little plastic... Uh, glass or fake glass you don't know what's i don't know man it's hard to say isn't it so you think there's a chance that could have been unintentionally... even his cider i don't know what's in it i don't know what ingredients are in it there might be a banned substance in that but i think people they want to think that they're guilty connor ben amir khan etc it's like they want to hate people don't they you know it's it's interesting so do you think there's a chance connor might be innocent well, I don't know enough about it, you know. But like I say, I don't know what's in this little drink that I'm drinking now. It's hard to know, isn't it? I'm not like a guy who studies ingredients and studies this and that. I try not to drink tap water. I try and drink bottled water. So I don't know what they're putting in the water, the tap water these days. You know what I mean? I'm not like a fucking big time conspiracy theorist, but it seems like people are changing nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Fair point. You know, people are changing. I don't want to get too deep into it, right? On your channel. I'll get deep into it on mine, but people are changing their fucking, you know what I mean? Just talking of Ben, Gender. rumors that he might be fighting Manny Pacquiao. Would that be a fight that would catch your interest? Manny Pacquiao. The legend. The legend that he is Manny Pacquiao. He's a legend. 43 years old. Hasn't knocked out someone in about eight, nine years. Yeah, you know Manny Pacquiao. I like him. It'd be, it would be a good fight, man. But it's, I, you know what? I just, I've just Tyson Fury, Usyk, Tyson Fury, Joshua, Terence Crawford, Errol Spence. We've been hearing about these fights for years. Ty, uh, Joshua against Deontay Wilder. Right. So I've got to the point now where I just kind of switch off, and I'm just like, whatever. Unless I see them on the way to the ring to fight each other, I don't really build. I don't really get into it. I don't really fucking. Mm get involved in it it's just so it's so boring it's like a woman you know if a woman was playing hard to get for so long you gotta fuck it off man and move on and try and find a woman who's on it instead of chasing after women who are just fucking trying to get free drinks out of you or free nandos or attention you know what i mean ego boosts you have to move on man and i feel like with tyson fury he says a lot of things for attention like he's giving money to charity and he didn't so I'm, when I'm scrolling on Instagram or Facebook and I see like a quote from Tyson Fury, I'm just like, whatever. And I just skip past it. It's just like, whatever, man. Talking of fights and fights that don't get made in fights that I've talked about, Tank Garcia next weekend. We're actually getting a fight that's spoken about. It's actually taking place. Still, I need to see him on the way to the ring. <laughs> Come I need on, to it, see, actually. It's seven see days him. out. It's seven I days need out. I to actually see him. But it was, how close was it for Chris Eubank Jr. and that little Connor Bond? I'm sure it was like shorter than that, but not fell through. So 
like I say, unless I see him on the way to the ring. It's not really, it's not, it's not a done deal, man. I don't want to get too sexual on your channel, but when I'm out and about in town, I was talking to a few women tonight. Unless I got him in a taxi on the way to mine, it's not a done deal because there's other men around. You see these men walking around here. It's not a done deal until they're in the taxi. Until I'm in a taxi with a woman on the way to mine, it's not a done deal. And it's the same with these fights. It's not a done deal until you see him on the way to the ring, as we've seen with Chris Eubank Jr. and that little Connor Bomb guy. Of course, you're a man who's been around boxing for some time. I've seen a few back and forth with yourself with Idris Virgo. Now, you're both former professional, well, both professional boxers, former professional boxers. Um, you're both on the YouTube scene. Is that something you'd be happy to entertain down the line, you versus Idris Virgo? I'd love to do that. Well? I'd love to do that. My last fight was about four or five years ago against a guy called uh, Marcus Morrison. You know, the buzz of winning that fight was like a buzz that I haven't experienced since. So that buzz of winning a fight is like just on a next level. So people like Kel Brook, when he beat Amir Khan, the buzz of winning that fight, mm. he can't seem to replace it, Kel Brook. Mm. So he's, he's talking about coming back. And I kind of get it in a way because the buzz of winning a fight is like some next level. So I want to get back in there and, you know, experience that little adrenaline rush of getting in there and fighting. But this little, what's his name? Idris Elba guy. Idris Virgo. This guy, he's like a he's like a little woman, you know, flirting around for attention. So he'll, like, mention me. He'll mention other people, like, you know, Ty Mitchell, people like that. He'll mention these people, but he, he's probably got no intention of fighting them. So he's just trying to get attention, isn't he? I'm not saying I'm, like, a big name, but... He, He's like a little woman flirting around for attention off men. Well, of course, if the opportunity came up, you take it with both grass. It's a, it's a decent fight. You both had a decent amount of professional fights. Um, he's probably a bit young. Well, he's a bit younger than you. You've been out the ring for a bit, but it's a good match. It's a good matchup of um, times and fights. People love fighting, don't they? So people will tune in. I want to try and expand. I do my YouTube videos, but I want to try and expand, you know, and go beyond it. And people love fighting, don't they? People are getting all excited here for this little Prince Patel fight. People are screaming, you know, women. So people love fighting. They love it. They used to work in a club and anytime there was a fight, people would just stop and stare at the fight. You know what I mean? So people love fighting, don't they? So if I got in there and boxed again, it would generate like a certain amount of interest. So I'd love to do it. Talking about...